Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain Snow Tire Chains with Ladder Style and Twisted Link here today on our 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now guys, this is gonna be a nice little way of just giving yourself a pretty decent chain set to get you out of those snowy and icy conditions. Now, the Twisted Link is gonna be kind of your moderate to more heavy duty applications. Now, you are looking at B-bar strut supports to kind of get you over that extra little bit. So if you find yourself in really hazardous conditions, these are gonna be a somewhat decent um, purchase for yourself. However, if you're really needing a lot of work and have a lot of ice and a lot of snow you want to bite through, the V-bars on top are going to be a great little addition. But the Twisted Link are going to be great because you're still getting that aggressive approach to that snow and that ice. However, we're not going to be breaking our roads down or our driveway, which is going to be great. So we're not going to be doing damage to any of those conditions that we might be driving on, which is great. So as you guys can see here today too, we do have a ladder style. So that means we can have almost a full hand width between here as you guys can see. What that's great for, you're getting a lot of great in, uh, start and stop maneuver capability. So you're really gonna feel it as you go over these guys though, as they are quite large of course, and then you're going back down to your tire. Again, like I said, that's great for that start and stop, but you do lose a little bit on your turning radius just because as you're making that left or that right turn, you are having to overcome each one of these humps as you do so. So it just has a slight little impact on it, nothing that's gonna be too crazy for ourselves. It is gonna be made of a low carbon steel as well. So these guys are kind of designed to break down as they go on the road. Now, you can make these start lasting you more seasons if you properly treat them. You know, taking them out, not storing them someplace where it's cold or or damp. Um, putting a little oil or grease on them can help extend the life as well. And overall, just making sure you're treating them each time you're taking them on and off of your tire. Well, talking about that, it doesn't take too much time to actually get these guys installed on here. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at our installation. To start getting these installed, first things first, we want to go ahead and jump here to our front wheel. The reason for that, we are maybe going to have a lot of all-wheel drive vehicles, but a lot of us are also going to have that front-wheel drive vehicle, so make sure you're checking with your vehicle's owner's manual guide. For us today here, we are going to head and use the front. And then we're going to go ahead and just lay out our chain like so. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks in our links are going to be forming up, making our fit not so good. And if that is happening, just want to kind of shake them out. Sometimes these guys just caught on themselves. And just pull them out just like so. Other things we're looking forward to, we do want our hard points of contact here actually pointing towards us because I'm simply going to be lifting my chain and setting it on my tire. So as we envelop this, we don't want to have these hard points of contact poking into our tire, potentially scra scraping, scratching, or even popping and deflating your tire, which can be awful. So make sure those are pointed away. That way we don't have any issues. A couple other things to look for. We are going to have this cam here in the bottom corner. We do want that towards the outside. And since we're simply going to be letting it or um, draping it over our tire, it's going to be in that right corner for ourselves. So we can go ahead and just grab this guy. I like to kind of shoot for the middle here. That way it's a little even for myself. Sometimes what you can do too with these chains, kind of wing out your arm a little bit. That makes it a little easier not to be damaging your rim as you set this on your wheel. And we can go ahead and try to get this set, make sure it's a little bit even. Here we are on the underside. As you can see, not too much space. So if you guys are out on the side of the road, keep in mind, this might even get harder to do. Actually, you might be able to dig yourself a little path actually underneath or to go on here as it does sit just a little low, especially with somebody with such large shoulders as myself. But all we gotta do is take this little hook here and our extra little chain, and we're just simply gonna slot them in position here. I'm gonna go and try to find myself as least slack as I can, but I do wanna check and see how it's sitting here. So you can see I'm not making contact with this inner rim here. That's looking good. And of course, just making sure you're not having that bound up on any of your inner assembly. If you do have a little bit extra like us, you can go ahead and just start snipping these off. Now I will say I'd wait to complete the rest of the installation if you're doing this for your first time at home. But if you don't want this bouncing around, causing any kind of damage, or just having this little extra bit dangle, you can go ahead and snip these off when you've made sure that it has have a good fit on your vehicle. Well, now that we made that back connection, we can go ahead and make our front connection. Now, I will say we actually did back it off one link. I was having a hard time getting this to be exactly where I wanted it. And of course, now what we do is take our extra tail here and take our cam system here and simply slot it through. I'm gonna go to the second chain from the end here today. To do that, I'm just simply gonna slot it in. 
send my chain down here to the end and then bring back my lever system. So what you wanna do is try to get this down here in the bottom as well. And as you push this lever, you just simply wanna slot it right into your other chain there. So as you guys can see, we are nice and pretty secure here. So we've gone ahead and grabbed ourselves some rubber tensioners here today. Now these are really nice, especially when you're working with a tire chain system like this that only really has two points of contact. Even then it's not, you know, anything crazy. This is really gonna do a good job of making sure that it stays even on your tire. Now I am a really big fan of this fit right now on the Taquan for ourselves, as you guys can see, but this is just gonna be nice when we are going down the road, you know, of making sure we're pulling everything in. Now the one thing we don't do wanna make sure is of course that our hooks are pointed away from our wheel and we can just kinda of go in a, um, diamond style pattern here. Now you do have six prongs, of course. So it's kind of like you're tightening down uh, your lug nuts on your wheel, but not quite because you have six, of course. But we just simply need to go across from ourselves here, trying to get an even spread on that pressure. That way we're pulling our chain into the middle of our wheel. And just like that, we're gonna have good contact pulling ourselves in towards the middle. So you can kind of see it's doing a good job on these middle points of the chain. Now, it, in my opinion, it was very secure here today before we put the tensioner on, but I do like how it's doing that little bit of extra help of making sure we stay nice and tight on that center. Well, as you guys saw, that installation doesn't take too much time at all. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of chains that I have to get underneath the vehicle look for. There are a couple chains out there that can be great. Uh, the Koenig XG12s, those are awesome little, like kind of just front access tire chains that you can stay on the side of your vehicle and you're not having to scrounge underneath. Um, and again, though, that's not gonna be the worst case scenario. And with this being Twisted Link 2, highly recommend putting these on before you find yourself in those hazardous conditions. So what's nice about them, you can put them on in your garage, which is a, kind of a disadvantage that you might see from like those V-bars, you have to put them on when you're actually out in those conditions. So I do like how we're able to put them on where we want to, when we want to. Um, but if we have to find ourselves, you know, on the side of a ditch somewhere, trying to get our car out, that would be a real pain for me to have to get underneath and kind of mess with. So personally, not my favorite chains in that aspect. However, if you are finding yourself being more of a prepared person, these can be a great little chain for yourself. Oh, but you also do get this nice little box here, of course, just to give you guys a look. And what's kind of nice about it, it does become easy to store these guys in your vehicle. And if you need to take them off when they are still damp, nice that you're not gonna be getting all that dirty water inside your vehicle. And it's not like it's a little canvas bag that's gonna be breaking down. It is hard plastic, so you know it's gonna be holding up. Makes it really easy to store. Well guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Titan Chain Snow Tire Chains with Ladder Style and Twisted Link here today on our 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.